Three, two, one. You won't like me when I'm angry. Ah! Nope. Maybe we try something else. I'm trying to figure out if the Hulk is a hero or the biggest sex offender in American history. What happens when the Hulk grows? He gets bigger. And what happens to the clothes he's wearing? They typically shred except for his boxers. Is that true though? Is there underwear on the market that can support the expansion of those hips? I've been doing some deep research. Let's say the Hulk works five times a week, your average American citizen. Every single time that those boxers rip, something comes out. You saw the whole thing big and green. That's a thousand dollar fine. And that's not it. 10 years on the sex offender list. Every single year, he is getting 2,600 years on the sex offender list. Is that a hero? There's gotta be something on the market that he's using. And we're gonna figure it out so I can finally get some sleep because I'm so tired. Yeah! I'm no scientist, but I am a VFX artist, and I'm gonna use the tools necessary to get to the bottom of this. More specifically, we're gonna be using Houdini's cloth simulation tools to test the effects of expanding Hulk hips on various types of cloth. The first step was obviously sourcing a Hulk model from online. I managed to find one on Sketchfab that is actually the MCU Hulk himself, which is perfect. The next thing I did was scale the model so the waist size is accurate to the MCU Hulk based on numbers I found online. Then I scaled him down to match the proportions of a Mark Ruffalo. The problem is, he was still jacked because it's a model of the Hulk, so it was more like a Mark Buffalo. So I scaled down the muscles and made him like a little skinnier. It still looks super weird, but don't worry about it. <laughs> it's science. Then I can use a very simple blend shape to Hulk out essentially from the shape of Mark Ruffalo to the full Hulk. Next, I rigged the Hulk model so that I could animate him flexing, ah, uh, jumping, ah, uh, strutting. Man, it's magic. And now we have a scientifically accurate Hulk model that we can use in our experiments. Well, almost accurate. There's one more thing. I have to make a wiener. It's important. Science, it's a game of numbers. It's a game of realism. If we can't ground this as much as humanly possible with the correct male anatomy, it's all for nothing. And we're gonna have to build that now. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Um, what? Okay. I, think, I think I just kind of realized what I'm doing. How big do you think the Hulk is? Like, like full body mass? You know what I mean. Oh! oh. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, no, it's just really. <laughs> that bungee action. This isn't gonna work. Too long. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. We'll dial it back. Oh, oh good. Oh, tasteful. Tasteful. Scientifically, this is gonna get you the most accurate results. Fantastic. There's one problem I didn't anticipate, and it's that people are seeing what I'm doing <laughs> from my screen over my shoulder. I shouldn't do this in this room. I'm on the Hulk's case for him exposing himself. But in the practice of all this, I need to actually expose him. And if I'm the one exposing him and other people see, then... Then I would be an offender. I gotta call Jake. Jordan, under no circumstances should you be doing this in an open office area. Yep, yep, yep. Here, you loud and clear, boss. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna... I'll just do it here. I'll just do it on your personal computer. I'm gonna hide it. Uh, and while I have you, actually, uh, we do need a budget for some underpants. I thought you were doing this all in Houdini. Why do you need real underpants? Now, I know what you're probably thinking at home. You're thinking, hey, why don't you just go online, find the tensile strength of cotton, and input that into Houdini. The issue is, in Houdini, the numbers are just kind of made up. If we're using 50,000 units of strength on the constraints of these underpants, what does that mean? 50,000 what? Units. Units, dude. Units of what? It could be anything. It doesn't mean anything. You see, Houdini is an FX software, and it was designed to be art directable, not a one-to-one -one replication of the real world. So if we're going to keep things scientific, I'm going to need to do some real-world tests to get numbers that I can put into Houdini to finally make our simulations accurate. Matt, oh boy, thank you for hi. coming. We have three cloths that we're going to test. Denim. There are dozens of us. There are dozens of them. Cotton. What are you doing? Stop doing Tell it. Tony wears his pants super tight. And of course, the holy grail, spandex. Spandex. These are the ones we're going to test. I know you're wondering, why are you here? There's only one way to measure the girth of a Hulk. Which way should weird? we go? Should we do Titanic or... I almost butt? need to face you. Oh, uh, what? Don't look at me! We're doing this for science! I don't want to do this! This is for science! You think I want to do this? This is for oh, science! Oh. Oh. I had a feeling that wouldn't work. Really wanted to try it anyway. Okay. Uh, I've built a device. And this is something that is going to measure the Herx girth. The Herx girth? The Herx girth? I'd like to introduce you to the...
Didn't plan that, did you? Woo! This is the, we should have named it. The Hulk hips emulator. Now let me show you how it works. You just reach on in here and there's a jack inside okay. and you just jack it. You have to make eye contact with me while you do it? How else are you gonna make the Hulk expand? Get your hand in there. <laughs> Where, are we in capacity? Hey, is that full girth? That's not full girth. There's no way that's full girth. Is that full girth? That's really? full girth? Full <laughs> So the jack clearly does not jack far enough. So what do we do? Ah! Do you guys even work out? I'm weak! Ah! Ah! All right, Jordan, let it rip, but slowly. Is this gonna work? Yeah. Oh, 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 look at the what happens to me in real time. Yes, yes, that did it! Ripped! We're scientists! It ripped! We are scientists! <laughs> and here I am, ripping underwear with them. Just look at them, two little doofuses. Wait, what is she saying? Next pair! Cotton, get to safety. Go! All right, run, run! Look at this! Oh, there it is! Last up! Last up! Spandex. All right, let her rip. Go. Did you Go. hear me? I said let her rip. <laughs> right, right, right? Oh, it's, it's happening, it's no, happening, no, no. it's happening. I thought these underpants were pretty great, but turns out they're terrible. <laughs> Time to put these numbers into Houdini. So the first thing I noticed about the denim is that the button pops. The rest of it gives way right down the front of the crotch. And then it tears down the inseam, opens the leg up, and it's okay. off. So I created a fabric that gives up halfway down the front okay. first. Ooh, happy birthday to me! Yeah, there it is. <laughs> so now our simulated denim is behaving just like the real world denim. Now we've got cotton. Cotton has a weak little butt crack. So I went into the butt seam on my virtual cotton underpants and pre-fractured it. Rewelded it together, just like seams work in real life, and have given it a break threshold to tear when it reaches three feet. And the first thing to give up on the spandex was the waistband, actually. It starts to tear down the Y seam right around four feet. That's what we need to hit. So here we go, boom. Oh, here comes that weak oh, waistband. There's the weak there waistband. There it goes. Hey, that's good. And thank you. Are we ready to put this on the Hulk, on the real Hulkster? Uh, not yet. I do need to do a little bit more work on the feet. The, the what? The, the, the little. It's been a couple days now that I've been designing and setting up this system and immediately I ran into a ton of issues. We need a piece of geometry that is growing over time but also being simulated and also being affected by and affecting another simulation. I didn't expect this in the beginning but this is actually a lot more complicated than I thought. I see it when I close my eyes. It's like right there. Every time, and when I blink, oh, and I'm not sleeping, Daniel. And on the tales of Animorphs, on the tales of Mobile Game Ad, on the tales of John Wick, it, it does feel like we're progressively getting weirder in these videos. I'm well aware of it. I see the path we're on. I don't know how we got here, but there's land ahoy. So we'll keep going for science. Buddy. Oh man. <sighs> wow. Thank you for joining me down here in the secret oh. where we can finally put this to bed and hopefully oh. put me to bed because I am we have tests, we have results, and we can finally answer. Is the Hulk an Avenger Woo. or an Offender? That's First up, denim. I'm always in. Oh! 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 There it is. <laughs> there it is, dude. There it is. Oh, it's flapping there. around. Full bag and stem. Oh, God. Oh, Offender, dude. It's, <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, no, it's there. No. I'm glad that wasn't in 3D. Oh no, the way it just spills <laughs> out. Oh God. Him walking towards camera, I'm gonna have nightmares about that. Puny God. Imagine the people who have seen this in real life. Dude. Yeah, no, I see, I see now, this is horrifying. Yeah, this is what Disney doesn't want you to see. All right, jeans clearly yeah. not gonna work. Cotton though, what do we feel about cotton? Nobody can get away with this. Oh, there it is from the behind. There it is. Yeah. Take a look. You gotta zoom in, don't you? You had to zoom in, didn't you? This is undeniable proof that when the Hulk wears cotton, it won't last. It's undeniable evidence. These really just explode oh, off it. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have, of course, spandex, which you know better than anyone, mm. according to MCU lore, is what the Hulk wears. Yes, that's the running explanation. What Bruce wearing the spandex says to me is mm -hmm. that he's trying to be a better person. He's trying, he's repentant. Everybody deserves a second chance. And this is Bruce Banner's. Is he an Avenger or an offender? Oh, it's oh! 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 Yes! It's just yes! barely, barely oh, wait, hanging the on there. Been right oh, oh, it held on. Oh, he held on. Wow. Man. Yes, he is. Ben. 
Dix is your best friend. We took him through a whole range of motion. He hulks out, he jumps, he walks, there's yeah. no tear. And that to me is good enough to deem the Hulk an Avenger. Hulk started as the villain and he lived long enough to see himself become the hero. Those are the stories we love. And that's why the Hulk is such a beloved character. Redemption. Redemption. It's the redemption arc. You know, I think it goes to show that growing into something big and weird isn't inherently a bad thing. As long as you have the right underpants and maybe even the right friends to grow with you. Oh. If you like this video, you'd probably like the Animorphs video too. Something we made a little while ago. I'm gonna dream of it now. Go ahead and click. <sighs>